Scientists around the globe are hoping that the upgraded machine, which is massive, will be able to detect new particles and start a physics revolution that could forever change our understanding of the whole universe. This is the detector that was responsible for one of the most important breakthroughs in science, the discovery of the Higgs boson. Scientists at CERN just announced a frightening new discovery. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known as CERN, is an intergovernmental organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. It's a physicist's dream to be able to work with the intricate equipment that's on board this one-of-a-kind testing laboratory as new discoveries are being made every so often. CERN's researchers and scientists have been tirelessly at work observing new patterns of the world around us and the universe that we live in that were previously unknown to mankind. One such discovery was recently unveiled that has gotten the scientific community across the globe scratching their heads. What is this new discovery, and how will it change the way we perceive our universe? Let's find out. Over the past few years, physicists at CERN have discovered a multitude of new exotic particles being created in the collisions produced by the Large Hadron Collider. In fact, there have been so many discoveries that our collaboration, which has discovered 59 out of the 66 recent particles, has had to come up with a new naming scheme to impose some order on the growing particle zoo. Particle physicists have a history of naming things in a rather strange way. As new particles were discovered over the course of the 20th century, the nomenclature became increasingly bewildering. For example, among the leptons we have electrons, muons, taus, but not tauons. When two teams from the 70s were unable to agree whether a new particle consisting of two quarks should be called J or Psi, they had to decide between the two names and ended up pinning the two names together to get J slash Psi. Until today, it is still difficult for a physicist to decide between bottom and beauty. Therefore, they often use the two interchangeably. And let's not even start on the absurdly named particles that supersymmetry predicts, such as the gluino, the squark, the smewin, or the strange. It's no wonder they don't exist. For those of you who are a little lost and are wondering, wait, what are quarks? Quarks are elementary particles that come in six different flavors, up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom respectively. They usually combine in groups of two or three to form hadrons, such as protons and neutrons, which make up atomic nuclei. But they can also combine to make four quark and five quark particles, called tetraquarks and pentaquarks. These exotic hadrons were predicted by theorists around six decades ago, around the same time as conventional hadrons, but they have only been observed by LHCb and other experiments in the past 20 years. The LHC has been a goldmine for new types of particles called hadrons. These are subatomic particles comprised of two or more quarks. There are two basic types of these. Baryons, such as the protons and neutrons which make up the atomic nucleus, are made up of three quarks, whereas mesons are composed of a quark paired with an antiquark. Each fundamental particle has a matching antiparticle with the same mass but opposite charge. There are a huge number of possible combinations, even though there are only six different types of quarks and only five form hadrons. In the 1980s, particle physicists devised a naming scheme for the Hadron Menagerie, with a symbol for each particle that made it easy to distinguish its quark content. For example, the Greek letter pi was used to denote it. Until recently, all newly discovered particles fit nicely into the scheme as either baryons or mesons. However, scientists eventually realized that more complicated hadrons with more than three quark combinations were also possible so-called tetraquarks, composed of two quarks and two antiquarks, and pentaquarks composed of four quarks and one antiquark. The Bell and BES3 collaborations discovered the first clear tetraquark candidates. They were labeled ZC states because they were the first to be discovered. This was a random choice. X and Y had already been used to label other states. Then, the LHCb collaboration discovered the pentaquark states, labeled PC. Recent discoveries have been accelerating since around 2019, with names such as X, Z, P, and T being assigned in a more or less ADHOC fashion. This has resulted in an alphabet soup of particles. 
These might be discoveries that were somewhat expected by researchers, but new exotic particles have been found that's baffling the greatest scientific minds. Scientists at the world's largest Atom Smashers physics lab have observed three new exotic particles that could provide clues about the force that binds subatomic particles together. CERN, the Geneva area home to the Large Hadron Collider, has observed a new type of pentaquark in the first duo of tetraquarks, offering a new angle to assess the Big Bang. The term tetraquark is used in particle physics to describe an exotic meson composed of four valence quarks. A tetraquark state has long been suspected to be allowed by quantum chromodynamics, the modern theory of strong interactions. Tetraquarks are exotic hadrons that don't fit into the conventional quark model. Most exotic hadrons are composed of two or three elementary particle types known as quarks. The strong force is one of four fundamental forces of nature, along with the weak force, which governs particle decay, the electromagnetic force, and gravity. The International LHCb Collaboration at the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, has observed three never-before-seen particles, a new kind of pentaquark and the first-ever pair of tetraquarks, which includes a new type of tetraquark. The findings add three new exotic members to the already growing list of new hadrons found at the LHC. They will help physicists understand how quarks bind together into these composite particles. Although it is rarer, they can also be combined into tetraquarks and pentaquarks, or tetraquarks. Many theorists predicted these exotic hadrons at the same time as conventional hadrons about six decades ago, but only relatively recently have they been observed by LHCb and other experiments. Over the past two decades, the most exotic hadrons discovered have been tetraquarks or pentaquarks containing charm quarks and charm antiquarks, with the remaining two or three quarks being an up, down, or strange quark, or their antiquark. But LHCb has found different kinds of exotic hadrons in the past two years. Two years ago, the collaboration discovered a tetraquark composed of two charm quarks and two charm antiquarks, as well as two open charm tetraquarks consisting of a charm antiquark an up quark, a down quark, and a strange anti quark. And last year it found the first ever instance of a double open charm tetraquark with two charm quarks and an up and a down anti quark. Open charm means that the particle contains a charm quark without an equivalent anti quark. The LHCb collaboration has announced the discovery of new kinds of exotic hadrons. The first kind, observed in the decay of negatively charged B mesons, in a pentaquark composed of a charm quark and a charm antiquark, an up quark, a down quark, and a strange quark. It is the first pentaquark containing a strange quark to be found. The finding is 15 standard deviations above the expected chance result, a very significant finding. The second kind is a doubly charged tetraquark with two electrical charges. They found a new particle in the decay of a B meson, which consists of a charm quark, a strange antiquark, and an up quark, and a down antiquark. Scientists have found the first pair of tetraquarks, which is the first time that a pair of tetraquarks has been observed. LHCb physics coordinator Niels Tuning said in a statement, The more analysis we perform, the more kinds of exotic hadrons we find. We're witnessing a period of discovery similar to the 1950s, when a particle zoo of hadrons started being discovered and ultimately led to the quark model of conventional hadrons in the 1960s. We're creating Particle Zoo 2.0. LHCb spokesperson Chris Parks added, Finding new kinds of tetraquarks and pentaquarks and measuring their properties will help theorists develop a unified model of exotic hadrons, the exact nature of which is largely unknown. It will also help to better understand conventional hadrons. Exotic hadrons can be discovered as pairs of standard hadrons that are bound in a molecule-like structure, or they can be single units of tightly bound quarks. Only further research and time will tell if these particles are the same or if they are different. So, what did you make of the newest discoveries at CERN? What are these decays and what functions do they have in our universe? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.